What state are you in if you're as mad as a cut blank? What was the first animal? Spider. Spider? Spider as a cut snake? Hey, snake! There you go! Okay. Mad as a cut snake, which means you're absolutely going berserk. So okay. you're mad as a cut snake. But snakes don't yeah. go berserk. They're, they're very elegant and poised. And they even rattlesnakes warn you if they're going to attack. They're actually, they have good um, manners. <laughs> okay, all right. Here we are. Uh, bloody KJ. That's your new Australian nickname during my interview, by the way. What is it, and, uh, KJ? KJ, KJ with an oh, O. Oh, right on, KJ. Okay, cool. And uh, Holty as well is your Holty. Australian nickname. That's yep. like I feel like that's quite similar. I feel like British people sometimes call me Holty as well. So okay, well that's good. For me, you're as good. You know, you're not going straight into like a shock situation. So yeah, that's... no, I'm like shook. Yeah, I'm uh, still shaking. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right, KJ. <laughs> fellas, I had a chance to see the movie. How exciting has it been for you to play Dracula, KJ? Oh, it, it's been, uh, for me, it was a bit of a dream come true, really. I, I'm a fan of the character and of the original novel by Bram Stoker and some of the great uh, actors who have channeled this part from Stoker, like Oldman and Langella and Lee. And uh, so I was very excited to be invited to the club. Yeah, nice. And Holti, you've dabbled in the horror thriller comedy genre a bit now, like movies like Warm Bodies and The Menu. What is it that you love about the genre? I think the way that it keeps people guessing what's going to be happening next. We were discussing this yesterday, this idea that, you know, there can be moments in these films where you're not sure whether you should be shocked and grossed out or whether you should be laughing along as well. So it's like that for me as an audience member, I love when movies can do that. I am Count Dracula. You win. Who are you? Hopefully surprise you, be unpredictable, slap you around a little bit between comedy and horror. Do either of you fellas have a favorite horror comedy that you can think of? Oh, I love American Werewolf in London. I just love that movie. I saw it in the cinema when I was a teenager and I was blown away by Naughton and Dunn's performance and how that movie was a real bullseye of horror and comedy. And when you get that bullseye just right, that tone, it's absolutely delicious. And I love that movie. Yeah. That's like when it, I, I, I really like Shaun of the Dead. Oh, so yes, that's... Up, that I really enjoyed and made me laugh a lot. You love it and Chris McKay loves it, our director. I have not seen it, so oh, I'm going to I'm gonna do it tonight. Right. I'm going to watch that movie tonight. I'm going to get it on iTunes. You got to do it. You got to do the whole, uh, what was it called? Whole t the Cornetto trilogy that Simon Pegg and Nick Frost did. Uh, you got you got Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End. Yes, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll get into all of it. Thank you. You gotta do it. I didn't know it was called the Cornetto trilogy though. I think it is because there's always a Cornetto ice cream at some point okay. that you kind of gotta you gotta spot. It's like forensic fandom, I guess. All right, uh, we're gonna go deep a little bit here. If either of you were given the choice to be immortal in real life, would would you take it or is it like a firm fuck no, not interested? You gotta die eventually. I think that only works if everyone you love is also immortal. Otherwise, you're gonna get your heart broken again and again and again, which is kind of the issue that Dracula's having. That's the curse. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> now we know the real vampire in this room. <laughs> He hesitated for like a tiny second and was like, I'll yeah. think it through. Like, oh, right? You don't know. It's a big adventure. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not sure I want to miss out on that ride. Who knows, you know? Right, right. That's it. There'd be a lot to see still. Well, I don't know about seeing, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if the senses are still there. I am Drac. Okay, obviously we're dealing with a little bit more than just narcissism here. We're gonna segue into the second half of this interview and uh, we're gonna have a crack at a game I call Guess the Aussie Slang. I feel it's good to bring world-class actors kind of into my world okay. and, uh, you know, increase your range. And, and KJ, you spent a bit of time in Australia shooting Ghost Rider, yeah? I certainly did, and Melbourne is one of my favourite cities in the world. A uh, very bohemian uh, style in that city, and I enjoyed it, yeah. Great coffee, too. A great coffee, great amusement park on the water, great stuff. Yeah, yeah nice. All right, well, let's get into it. Question number one, this has nothing to do with vampires, but it kind of sounds like it does. What is an ankle biter? Ankle biter? It's got to be like <laughs> a, a spider of some sort or 
a S- uh, snake, snake, snake. Uh, no, an, unhinged, an unhinged lunatic trying to get a date. <laughs> <laughs> no, but points for creativity are always awarded in this game. So I'll give you half a point to start with. Uh, Is it like a big, like a big rodent, uh, like an Australian big rodent? He sort of not Tasmanian an animal, although, devil. Oh, no, yeah. no, no. Although they are pretty animalistic, uh, we've all got them. The three of us, we've all had them at some point. We ball. Is it, a t- is, it is it like a, is it like a, a trouser or like a, 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 a is it a clothing item? No. I think yours is four years old, Holty. Yours are a bit older, KJ. Plus you got a new one. Oh, the mine kids, is also kids. four years old. Oh right, kids. ankle biters. Oh, okay. Right now, I have three children that are one baby and two grown up, and none of them have ever bitten my ankles. So I, I don't know how to connect those dots. No, well, look, I, I can't fully tell you the origins, but, okay. uh, you know, okay. ankle biter is, is what kids are referred to down uh, here. Okay. All right, number two. What do we call the most annoying little pain in the ass, blood sucking insects that come out and bite your fucking legs, your feet, your face at dusk? Mosquitoes. No, oh, you can, Yeah, oh. there you go. Well, Mozzie, slang, mozzies, slang. Mozzies. All right, there you go. Holty got it. That's a tip. Well, I got the sort of dictionary version. Mosquito. Yeah, you, you got the Oxford. I got uh, the zoological 100-point uh, word. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number three. Please fill in the blank. What state are you in if you're as mad as a cut blank? Mad as a what? A mad as a cut blank. What's the missing word? Uh, Drunk. Mad as a cut drunk? No, you guys said it earlier. You can you can go back to thinking of animals. Tasmanian devil? Mad as a cut Tasmanian devil. That's pretty fucking good, but that's not it. Mad as a cut. What was the first animal? Spider. Spider? Spider. Spider. Mad as a cut snake? Hey, snake, there you go. Okay. Mad as a cut snake, which means you're absolutely going berserk. So oh, you're okay. mad as a cut snake. But snakes don't go berserk. They're, they're very elegant and poised. And they even rattlesnakes warn you if they're gonna attack. They're actually, they have good uh, manners. Okay, <laughs> they're all right. protocol, right? Okay, well look, for you, KJ, we might be open to altering it. Um, okay, thank So we you. might change it to mad as a cut Tasmanian devil. Right, because the, the reptiles just want you to leave them alone. Like, don't touch me, please don't pick me up. Do not name me, I'm not of your world. You know, okay. whereas cats and dogs, sometimes they want to be pet, but snakes and lizards, just leave me alone. Yeah. You're quite an animal lover, KJ. Sure. Have you ever like befriended or owned an Australian animal? I was in uh, Darwin and I went to look at the massive, uh, really estuary and saltwater crocodiles. They were beautiful. But on the trip, there was a uh, venomous snake, and I, I knew how to pick it up correctly, which is behind the um, the head and just uh, above the neck, so that it can't bite you. And, I, and we had kind of a nice moment together, and then I put him back down and he slithered away. I don't remember the name of the snake, but I, I was told it was highly venomous, but I, I just enjoyed that communication between the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy you that asked is, that question. <laughs> that is such a beautiful story. Yeah, it that you've beautiful. actually befriended. And then the mud crabs. The mud crabs were just delicious. You know the mud crabs in Darwin? Yeah, of course. Yeah, Fantastic. of course. Yeah, they get massive. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They do. And they got that beautiful orange color. Excuse me. You got me excited. We're talking about animals. I know, I know. No, that, Didn't that, you have a two-headed I'll snake as well? The name of that snake for you. I'll try and find out. Okay, thank you. This is like an indulgent fanboy question from me, KJ. Um, you scored an action movie hat trick with The Rock, Con Air, and Face Off. What is a hat trick? Well, if you say it like that, then it has to be a bit of a three-hander. Like you, you, you can do do it in threes. I'm trying to get him to do a third movie with me. We've been talking about it; it hasn't happened yet. But I'd love to have a hat trick with Nick Holt. We're going for a hat trick. <laughs> yeah, we're going for a hat trick. Right. Because you did the Weatherman together in 2005 where you played yeah. Kjo's son. It's yeah. kind of like a triple axle. It's a bit of a hat trick on the ice, yeah. you know? Yeah, I'd love to see it. Well, he could maybe play your son in like bloody Face Off 2 or something like that. Or maybe. we could switch it up and I could play Renfield and he could play Dracula. That could be fun too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, no worries. Uh, last one. What do I urgently require if I am as dry as a dead dingo? A beer? Yeah, that's a tick. <laughs> <laughs> that's a 
has definitely a big tick. I got it. Oh, uh, gin and soda is uh, even is better. Good too. I like that goblet. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, I don't really have any prizes. I do like to give out prizes when I'm in person with. Uh, with with legends like yourselves, but uh, look, maybe I could make a bloody meme for you or something. Great. Um, if if that's of interest. I like this. I like this, the, sure. the jumper too. The hoodie you've got on. You like? That's classic. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. That used to be like the best Friday night going down Blockbuster Absolutely. and then grabbing the dominoes afterwards. Yeah, I love yeah, that you have that T-shirt, and it's like you're drinking from the Holy Grail. What's on the what? What is on your chalice? Is that a flag of some sort? Uh, no, oh, that's like a skull fingers. Yeah, it's like a fingers. skull fingers. Yeah, and it like bloody you got like little bandages around it. I thought it was uh, appropriate for I a think horror it's comedy. Terrific. Is that your personal thing, or was it just a prop for this? Uh, no, that's my personal thing. I already had it, and I was leaving the house, and the miso was like, "Take this," and I like really? to listen to my miso. It's a man yeah. after my own heart. I love that <laughs> mug, that chalice. How dare I call yeah. it a mug? I did bring two, so these can be your prizes. I my people will one. talk to your yeah, people. Yeah. I need the skeleton hand. Yeah, yeah, all right. KJ gets skeleton hand. I'll take the other splashing. one. The other one looks like, like I could use it as a percussion instrument, maybe. Oh, yeah. Shake it. Like oh, a, really, yeah. It's a bit of a, like a dirigidu, like a, I don't know. It's got some yeah, like yeah, yeah, braille yeah. on it. You could read something on that. Yeah, no, that that could it's be a scarification a ritual, Charles. Do you need an outro? <laughs> oh yeah, no, <laughs> this is the outro. We just we just we just trail off. <laughs> I don't know how to put a button on this one. I just think it should just go on eternally, and we'll call each just other. Just fade out the volume <laughs> as we keep talking. Just gradually. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great. Yeah. yeah. So they've left, and I'm saying goodbye with the microphone that's been cut off. And that's how this celeb interview ended, and I think it went really well. I think Kjo appreciated the rebelliousness of the whole thing there. So that's, nah, that was good.